Morning guys, it's Sunday morning and we're off to a boot sale. That's right, we're off to a boot sale this morning and we're still not locked down in Scotland so boot sales are still on. Um, I don't know how long for. I think next week there's going to be an announcement whether we're going to lock down or whether we're going to keep with the tier system. So I'm going to make the most of it and get myself to the only car boot sale that's any good that's open because the other the other two I've been going to um, have been closed. Um, so I'm going to get myself there seven o'clock in the morning. The boot sale opens at um, seven thirty, so. Um, I want to get there for queuing to get in to make sure I get the good bargains and I'll, I'll show you what I pick up once I get home so wish me luck okay that's me just arrived so I'm gonna grab my bag and get get picking Well, that's another successful boot sale done and uh, I have a car full okay guys so that's me done picked up quite a lot of stuff I basically filled my boot you can just about see it there so lots of stuff and I'll take you through what I picked up when I get back Okay, I'm back home now, guys, and I'm gonna empty the car and show you what I picked up. Um, oh, as you saw at the boot sale, I managed to pick up pretty much a car full of stuff. Obviously that's my granny trolley, but everything else is stock. So this is gonna um, keep me busy for hopefully the rest of this week. Um, getting this stuff listed. Um, as I said, I don't know if Scotland's going to go down into a lockdown or anything, so this could actually be my last boot sale for a while. Who knows? Um, hopefully not. Hopefully I can carry on going and go next week. But for now, got all this stuff. I'll show you what I picked up. Okay, so this is the main bulk of the the lots that I picked up, there's a few other things that I'll show you at the end. So let me go through them. Um, this is quite a nice magazine rack. It's got like uh, decorative sort of features to the wood. I don't think it's that old, but it's a nice looking thing. So I thought it would probably do quite well. Um, so I picked up that, I think that's a few pounds. And picked up this Hoover. Um, I was in two minds to whether to go for this, but I did look at completed at the time and they seem to sell for around £30-ish. Um, it comes with the filters there. Um, so hopefully that will be worthwhile. Um, still in two minds on that. because I think it was around sort of £10, which is a little bit more than I'd like to pay. Um, but, you know, if it goes for around sort of £30, then... There's some profit there to be made. Um, a pasta maker, these always do quite well. She said it was brand new, I'm not quite sure. It looks pretty clean, so I'll have to have a better look at it. Um, hopefully it is. These always sell quite well, especially um, with the current situation, people are wanting to do their own um, pasta making, bread making, you know, baking, all of that sort of stuff is quite popular. So. Um, that should go quite quick. Um, 
this stereo system was only a couple of pounds, but they did tell me the CDs are skipping. Now I'm hoping that I can just clean the lens. Um, it has got a radio on it and an iPod connection. So even if the CD's broken, hopefully I'll still be able to make a profit on it. Um, obviously it won't be worth as much, but um, ho I'm hoping I'll be able to fix it. I think it came with a remote control as well. Um, I think that's the remote control for it. Um, I'll have to check. So I've got quite a few remote controls now and I'm, I'm a bit confused to which ones fit which unit. Um, big button phone. Um, these always sell quite well. Um, that was a, f a few pounds, I think, for that. Paid up a little bit more on this. Um, he said it all worked. He said it was actually his actual one. Um, so we'll see. So I did ask him, you know, have you actually checked the tapes play and stuff like that? You know, obviously the belts can go. He said yes. So, you know, I believed him and paid the money, but we're yet to find out. Um, Blu-ray player at the back here. This is a Sony. She wanted quite a lot of money for that. Um, so I did pay up on that as well, um, but it does come with the genuine power supply um, and the remote. So I thought my money's safe, even if the item is, is faulty, it's um, still going to be um, worth it and be able to get my money back. Um, brand new ink, um, didn't look them up because, um, you know, I just noticed them on the stall. Um, but obviously they have some sort of value there so um that's got to be worth getting that was a few pounds um a nintendo ds light um it's got a faulty um, hinge here and it's pretty scratched up um but i have a power supply and i have a few games so i thought i could make just a little bundle um and that should that should still sell i'm assuming it works a side tech PC joystick. Um, not sure on this particular model and how much this is worth, um, but these can sell. So as long as it works, it's a fairly decent model. Probably around fifteen pound. I would have thought. Picked up a Barbie hi-fi unit. I think this is like a karaoke machine because it comes with the microphone, CD player. Um, it's a genuine Barbie one. This this isn't a sticker. It's actually, you know, on the plastic as it were. Um, it's got all the all the decals on here. So I thought I thought it would be worth it. A nice Christmas present for someone as well. Sony um, iPod dock here. Um, I've got a few of these, and they are very slow sellers. Um, but I noticed this one's a DAB one, so it's a little bit of a newer model than the FM and AM ones that I've had before. So I picked it up, comes with the remote. Um, the power supply is broken though. I noticed that when I got back to the car, um, the pins on the, where it plugs into the back of the unit are broken. So um, it could be that I have to source another power supply for that. Um, got one of these amps machines, it's a slender tone unit. Um, these can do okay, um, you just got to clean them up and things, which isn't great, but um, they, they do sell. This was a little Logic a digital TV unit, didn't come with a remote, um, but there is um, buttons on the front. Um, so I'm not sure whether this this button's not pressing so yeah this might have issues um, I also need to see if I can get a remote for it um, but if I can get the remote then it's probably worth having if I can get the remote then it's probably worth it I got this old vintage tin for a pound um, I wasn't sure on it but um, I bought it with a couple of other things from the same store and I thought it was probably worth going on. It's a nice big tin, vintage. I found this in a box. 
Um, I thought it was going to be a warp one to begin with, but it ended up being an external um, CD drive, um, or, or floppy drive actually, external floppy drive for a vintage IBM laptop. Um, I think it was a couple of pound if I remember rightly. Uh, it's in a genuine um, case as well, so I thought that might have some sort of value. Um, I've no idea how much. Um, BT Hub 6, um, didn't come with any wires, although I have, well, I've got, I managed to get those wires, um, but it didn't come with a power supply. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to sort a power supply for that. Um, and I do actually have an empty box for that, so um, from a faulty one that I, put, I bought previously. So hopefully I'll be able to box that one up and sell it for a decent price. Um, I've got a U-View box here, a Hawaii Freeview box, um, and I think this is the remote for it, although I don't think it's a genuine remote. Um, so we'll see about that, see if that works. Um, a Philips boombox, a little one. I think I paid up on this as well, but um, you know, I wanted to get plenty of stock lockdown there will be profit in it so i just don't like paying up because i usually pay around sort of five pound maximum on these but um hopefully it will work and it will clean up well it's a nice unit so probably worth it this is a firefox f7 grandstand game i did quickly test it at the um, at the boot sale um, give it a quick uh, it seems to work there we go so obviously that works um, I'm not sure on how much that that is worth um, I think it was ten pound um, these grandstand games they tend to go for a decent price, so I was happy with that. I picked up this for a couple of pounds, which I wasn't sure on, but I've done well on staplers, this Rapesco brand. Um, it looks really well uh, built. It's quality, quality hole punch. Um, so fingers crossed that there'll be some return on that, although obviously not a great deal. Um, the standard sky box here. Um, this was a few pounds, and they tend to sell for about fifteen pound. As a BMX wheel, um, I assume it's a vintage one. I'm not really sure, but you don't see them that often, do you? In this sort of style, so uh, I thought it was worth it. Bought this. Um, he did say he didn't know if it worked. Um, it probably doesn't, to be honest with you. These these are a bit hit and miss, these old stereos, old radios. But um, it was only a couple of pounds, so I thought I'd give it a try. I've got an Elmo here. This is um, the Tickle Me Elmo. I think he dances and sings. Um, hopefully that will be okay with no battery corrosion. Um, she did say... It worked, it just needed new batteries. There's no signs of leakage around there. So hopefully the batteries, if they are in there, um, they're not leaked. But we'll see. He's fairly clean. He's got all of the bits over him, but all that comes off. Um, fingers crossed that will be a nice sale over Christmas. Picked up this vintage corn on the cob. Um, this off you get little forks that go into your corn on the cobs with nice um, teak handles um, and then you've got the glass dish for your corn on the cob so they're nice I like them um, I'm tempted to keep them but I'm going to see how much they're worth um, but they're nice um, I think that's it for this stuff Picked up these glasses 
Um, these are Captain Morgan glasses. Um, one of them, yeah, is actually this one is cracked, as you can see um, there. So that one's no good, but all the rest from a quick glance look okay. Um, oh, actually, there's a there's a crack on there that you can just about see. Hmm. But they were cheap. I think it was five pound for the lot. These are selling for eight pound each on eBay. Um, and I'll probably do a little bundle of four or something. Um, but they're nice, chunky, solid glasses. Um, I might even keep a couple for myself. Um, it's just a shame there's a couple broken there. Um, but there's 12 in total, so there's plenty of profit there. I picked up two of these vintage deck chairs. Um, so I've got one, and I've got the other one here. So they've got the wooden handles. They're quite nice um, vintage stripe on there. Um, these won't sell now. They'll probably be something that will sell in the springtime. But I will. I probably will list them. Um, so they're up there. The nice quality vintage chairs always sell. There's another hi-fi I picked up. This is a Hitachi. Comes with the matching speakers. Um, can't remember how much I paid on this. And I think it was quite cheap though. Um, but yeah, you just got to check the tapes work and the CDs read the CDs. That's the main problem with these. Um, sometimes they, the belts are gone or the, the CD player's gone, so. Um, but yeah, worth picking up little hi-fis like that. Um, got some sort of branding on here. Native Union. Um, but yeah, I thought it was like a unique design. So um, I picked that up. And the PlayStation 3, um, this has the all important four USB ports, so it should be backwards compatible. Um, it's very beaten up. Um, there's like this sticky stuff on it. Hopefully that will come off. It looks like it does. Um, and I've got the controller pads for it. I've got didn't come with any games, but I've got loads of PS3 games I can put with it. I've got another pink hi-fi unit here. This is a CD player. Um, it's got a broken aerial at the back, so that will detract from the value, but it's um, it was cheap enough to go on anyway. Picked up this coffee maker thing. Um, this is um I can't remember the name pets is it um but these can be quite these can be worth it um it's a nice big one as well um, so there's that and finally playstation one Standard PS1 in the box um, with power supply and a couple of controllers. These are controllers for the um, PS3, um, but you've got the, the normal um, PlayStation controller in here. The white one. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, I can bundle a couple of PS1 games with this as well, so I've got plenty of them and um, yeah, create a nice bundle for Christmas. So I hope you found that interesting. Quite a few variety of things there. Um, lots of different um, items, electricals. You know, I had the uh, magazine rack. You know, I'll pick up anything that will, will sell at, a, at the correct profit. So um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click that like button and um, drop me a comment, tell me what you thought of my pickups. 
Um, also, subscribe to the channel. That would be really, really appreciated. And ring the bell um, to get notified when I next upload a video. Um, hopefully, this won't be the last boot sale video. Um, I'll find out tomorrow whether Scotland is going to carry on for another week in a tier system or whether we're going to go down into some sort of lockdown situation, in which case the boot sales will probably be cancelled, I guess. Um, so it may be the last one, it may not be. Fingers crossed. Um, so until the next time, see you later. Bye-bye.